the KOT calf raise or knees over toes calf raise starts, as implied, with knees over toes. Now it might be that you're not ready for this. Hopefully, by way of us going through our tib raises and our Patrick steps, you get enough blood flow so that this feels okay. But let's say it didn't, you can go all the way back. You can go all the way back to barely any bend. You could go to almost straight leg and just kind of ease into it as you go. As I increase my ankle ability and range of motion and I increase my ability to tolerate stress across the knee, I want to go basically as far as I can, loading all the way forward. You can see this start to replicate the beginnings or at least a piece of a squat and get up nice and tall. This is going to hit the bottom portion of my calf in contrast to the top portion. And this is one of the pound for pound strongest muscles in the body. Again, helpful in acceleration, but then also helpful in making sure that I don't have that Achilles rupture, that Achilles pain, because all of this is now getting addressed and I'm getting blood flow, I'm getting resiliency to all of the connective tissue across my ankle, but then the muscle that runs up as well, okay? How do I modify? I start very tall, I sink in as I go. I don't necessarily want to get away from the wall. There is a level up that we'll discuss later, but for now, you can hang out here. Without equipment, you could go to one leg, and this becomes very difficult to hang on for 25 in a row. So you've got lots of options with no equipment.